Okay, well, I sat down to uh, record one multiplayer battle today. I found one digging through my folder from a week or two ago um, that I posted up and um, realized that I was still was still looking at trying out all those goals and stuff. So I figured I'd post one with the bag changed up, new season, um, new convictions. You know, this is the this is the year for me. This is the season. And of course, uh, first first game out the bat, there's Bam Doc Dr. Banana Nana Man Man himself. So and uh, Speed Cuber. So here goes nothing. Uh, tough draw right off the bat, but uh, I've got P D back in the bag now. Um, two Sampos out, two PDs in. I was messing around with the F D three, it's very musket like, but I find uh, the musket uh, a little understable for what I like it. I like it to hook up a little more at the end. I saw Bam off to a bad start. Didn't quite have enough on for the win there. I actually uh, asked him what happened, and he just goes, you know what? I screwed up. It was early in the morning. I messed up. So um, the rest of us got the Eagles there. Uh, that was a I mean, tough start. got to say I was <laughs> not nervous isn't the right word, but it was a little – little strange going for that first one so um there's a look at the new bag i'm sitting here thinking right now because i'm like i don't think i have a run for this right now so i'm not going to try to invent one on the spot during multiplayer i'm just going to throw the core up in the air and take the birdie don't need to uh, try to manufacture any strokes at this point um, just try to not make mistakes um so speaking of not making mistakes i played uh Disc Golf Valley Pro Tour event last week and uh, got all the bonus strokes I needed to uh, to, to tie for first and uh, was eight over on three holes. So <laughs> I birdied two of those three and I'm, and I'm in the lead. Um, it blows my mind. Um, going PD with a roll here, just not get the crazy ground play. End up getting crazy ground play in the other direction where it just sits, um, which I'm not going to complain about. So, um, yeah, I, uh, I actually lost those strokes by trying to play safe. Um, big wins on ECC2, uh, pushing it to the right. I tried to play safe instead of taking a more aggressive route and ended up leaving it out of bounds, and that was the beginning of the end for me. So big tail here. Um, be worried about a disc like uh, the PD fading out too much with a tailwind. So Sampo is a straight shooter. So split the gap there with that one, easy peasy. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to what to think about that. I honestly think I need to just pick my moments to be aggressive, I guess, or just play play aggressively. Just don't make stupid aggressive moves. Um, here's one with a tailwind. I don't I don't typically like throwing the forehand with this wind. Um, it's usually skip it up with the Sampo. And then as I let go of that, I'm like, holy crap, three tails straight. That's going to go so long. Uh, but it stayed in bounds, so um, works for me. Uh, normally don't have problems uh, from this range, regardless of what the wind is. I usually just make my adjustments for the wind. That, that one swayed, swayed offline. <laughs> swayed offline, and I waited for it to come back when I did. Uh, Hit the chains right at the same time as that other guy scared the crap out of me. I'm like, holy cow, I thought that was going to spit out. Um, and here we go. Um, KO part two. I can't I can't not throw a roller. It took a weird hop off the ground. My normally, on, when I throw that line, it normally goes straighter, longer, but it kind of kicked right. So I was a little worried about what that was going to do, but didn't hit my normal alley, um, which I have pretty high success rate on because there's not as many tree trunks to hit. And I was able to get lucky through through all of those. Um, left me a little further away than I normally am. Kind of in that tweener range for me that I don't really like. Kind of more I'm playing a little loftier bid, but um, got it to go. Speaking of how beautiful is that putter, I got super lucky. Um, I haven't done the math or anything, but like those – First couple slots are so underrated on the free side on the multiplayer because they're guaranteed a rare stamp and rare stamps are like 5% on a normal draw. So when you're talking putters, um, you know, you're limiting it to just a few putter molds and then you're guaranteed rares. I mean, that's really a good chance to draw something cool like I did. I got super lucky. 
Um, it would take me uh, years to get feel like to get that stamp. So this is the hole I jacked up in the video I just posted today. Um, I'm going to try to get rid of my forehand route. So here you see me trying a new one here. I, probably a little closer to the sidewalk than I would have liked to have played it, but left me in a good spot to run it. This is a work in progress for me. Um, I don't want to play the flexing forehand, but after that bit me so bad um, during that last match, um, I'm going to try to come up with something a little safer. Uh, but speaking of the bag changes, you'll notice all those golds are out. I do love the gold. I, I kept the one. I feel like I need to have one of them in there. Is that safety wind disc, but the, uh, Cloud Bakers came back. Those are old discs. I haven't played them in a while because I, I took pretty much, I went from those Cloud Breakers to Turn Rives, thinking that the Turn Rive was like a better um, better Cloud Breaker, but it was just a little bit more understable. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying a new theory when it comes to bag building, or at least, you know, in practice. Um, here I'm going Skip Sampo with this crazy wind. I don't want to throw anything up in the air. I'm just throwing a line drive down there and seeing how far it'll skip. Um, I don't want to mess with anything down there and I'm perfectly happy with this. But so yeah, my new my new idea, I guess it's not a new idea, but um, with the idea of the straight pulls being so beneficial, um, I really like the idea of playing um, different stabilities and discs. Um, so instead of, I, know, I very rarely, if ever, play the big turnovers where you have to throw any on it. So I go with this, uh, with this cloud breaker, and um, I feel like it's something that I can really control. I was complaining in one of the last videos about how the paradigm is a little loose for me. I still haven't unlocked the Enigma yet, so we'll see, um, see how that goes. But I like the idea of having, being able to do straight poles with three or four different stabilities and. Um, getting different results so I can kind of choose the disc that fits that shot. So this is for the win here. No problem. So yeah, good match for me. Uh, I was really worried about Bam coming back there at the end, but uh, it will hold on. So, so yeah, uh, props to the to Doc, Banana Nana Mamma Nan, uh, for being a good sport. I set, literally sat down to just record a quick one, and that's the one I got. So. Um, as always, class act. He's like, yeah, post her up. So um, stay tuned. We'll see you. See you next time. Thanks.